students, welcome to class. We are behind the scenes here of a premiere that is just going to be going up in about 32 minutes. And I am unable to keep up with all of your comments. And I thought I would turn on my camera and just talk to you instead of trying to type because we only have 200 characters in which to type my answers. So this is a premiere that is going to be going up in 31 minutes and it is called Coco Melon fails again. Unfortunately, I'm not happy because in this video, they are talking about putting cheese on pizza, but they are not mentioning that it is vegan cheese and it is absolutely essential that kids know that cheese that is not vegan comes from a cycle of violence. So while we are waiting for the video to begin, I'm going to respond to some of your comments here. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Um, let's start with vegan Noah. Now, Noah is an animal rights activist. That's why his name is in blue. He is a vegan animal defender. Let's see what he's writing here. Do you think you have to give up the taste of animal products when going vegan? Today, there are a ton of vegan alternatives, meat, dairy, and eggs. When, uh, when you're vegan, you can still have burgers, pizzas, etc. Good job, uh, vegan Noah. Absolutely, you're totally right about that. Um, Joaquin says, maybe we should all do it. I guess you're referring to being vegan. Absolutely, you should. And this, yeah, Joaquin said, oh, no, this is somebody talking to Joaquin. Okay, here's Joaquin. Oh, Joaquin, good job on your uniform. You got your name, the word vegan, and this is, I guess, the city. This is the country, and this is your age, all separated by underscores. Beautiful uniform, perfect. This makes it easy for me to tag you because you have your first name there, and it also helps us to identify which time zone you're in and so on. So thank you so much. You look beautiful. Don't kill endangered animals for their body parts like the ivory of an elephant, the horn of a rhino, the pelt of a tiger. Don't kill them, become vegan. Wow, this is a great, great comment. Thank you so much, Joaquin, for saying this, for talking about these endangered animals. And of course, we want to talk about all animals, not just in other countries, but also what's on our plate all the time. So this is really a great comment. Thank you so much for being an amazing animal defender. Now, I had written here, uh, when we see animals suffering, we should never suppress our tears. It is normal to cry and then to become vegan after we learn what the animals go through. Why pay for murder if you don't have to? Now, we hear there's a message that is being held. Vegan teacher wishes death on people and feels happy when people die because they aren't vegan. So I guess um, the YouTube decided that this should be a decision about whether to show it or not. Um, no, I don't feel happy when people die when they are not vegan. I am simply stating that it is wrong to kill animals and that everyone should be vegan. If you are deliberately hurting animals, kicking cats, smashing dogs in the head, or cutting open any other kind of animals, such as pigs, chickens, cows, sheep, lambs. Yes, I would prefer you were not here on this earth hurting these innocent beings who never did a single thing wrong to you. There are some very sick people in this world and we must do our best to speak out against animal abusers. If you are eating foods that involve any kind of animal parts, you are an animal abuser. That is simply a fact. It's not up for debate. You are paying people to hurt animals needlessly when you could so easily go to the store and buy other things. All right, let's see. Joaquin says, subscribe and tap the bell so you won't miss the video. Yay, thank you, Joaquin, for saying that. Y'all, are y'all serious? Yes, we're serious. If you want to be a teaching assistant, please change your username to this format. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out, Joaquin. This is great, very helpful. I'm not sure why you're writing this word here. And here's something else has been deleted, apparently. Okay, so message deleted by Cassie. So this person, Cassie, who is an animal defender, deleted a message. Let's see what it is. We're just curious. That's funny. Hmm, okay. I'm not sure why you're writing that's funny. I don't know what you're referring to. So this person here says, well, I'm hunting. Well, that's a real shame. Why would you want to hunt innocent animals when you don't have to? Just go eat veggies, fruits, nuts, seeds. Put those in your shopping cart. Peace begins on your plate. So just open up your heart. Be kind to the animals. Buy any of the millions of other things there are to, to choose from. Well, maybe I'm exaggerating when I say millions, but certainly there are thousands of different foods that you can buy. You can eat lentils, chickpeas. You can eat nuts, all kinds of different nuts. Walnuts, hazelnuts, macadamia nuts. You can eat peanuts. You can also buy rice and beans and tofu and chickpeas. You can buy vegan pizza, vegan lasagna. The list goes on. There's no reason to hurt animals. 
I'm sad that what vegan teacher said about sniper wolf. You mean telling the truth? Sometimes the truth makes us sad, yes. And the truth is that sniper wolf pays people to hurt animals. She pays people to steal baby cows from their mothers and slit their throats. Every time that she eats cheese or when she eats ice cream that comes from McDonald's, that comes from a cycle of violence. Nobody should be buying these products from McDonald's ever. And Sniper Wolf has 30 million followers and it is absolutely uh, immoral of her to keep talking about all the different animals that she eats, whether it be chicken wings or all of these non-vegan products. Sniper Wolf should be vegan. And everyone should be convincing her to be vegan because when she becomes vegan, she will be a great role model for her 30 million people that follow her. Every time that Sniper Wolf shows a video showing the uh, dead animals on a plate, if she's talking about chicken wings or if she's talking about whatever, hamburgers, anything, she should be saying, that's too bad, that's not vegan, or oh, I hope that's vegan, or you should all be striving to be vegan. Let's be vegan together. That is the basic moral, moral baseline that she should be following. Calissa says, uh, Miss Katie, can you answer this digitally? Do you like fantasy books like Harry Potter or a series of unfortunate events? Well, when my kids were little, we read them the series of Harry Potter and the series of unfortunate events. Yes, uh, we did. But you know what? I'm not going to answer that because our topic right now is about the animals, Calissa. And we're talking about the animals and not human things. All the other channels talk about other things that have to do with humans. We are here to protect the most vulnerable who have no voice. Keep the subject on the animals and how we can protect them from being murdered and from being raped in these horrific industries that are the meat, dairy, and egg industries. Not to mention also the other ones such as the fur industry, the wool industry, the silk industry, all of these. Honey, don't ride horses, don't eat honey because these are just not necessary and they abuse animals and i know i can hear you all saying how is riding horses abusing animals well it is because we break their spirits by forcing them to walk around in circles and we break their spirit and and cause them to be to be submissive to us and it is absolutely wrong and oh my god this is so cute look at this these little mushrooms and these colors wow that's so beautiful luca beautiful job i'm just gonna tag luca so it's easy to tag luca because his name, he has the word Luca at the beginning. Um, and I'm going to write beautiful art. There we go. <laughs> and I love that he's saying go vegan. That's really cute. I'm going to see. I wonder if I can copy this. What if it'll let me copy it? Do you think so? Let's see. Copy. I'll put it here. There we go. I did it. That's cute. Look at that. <laughs> Wonderful job. All right. So somebody else is saying, ooh, I'm not sure what you're saying, ooh, to. Don't be selfish people. Don't have to listen. To, don't be selfish people. Don't have to listen. Well, don't be selfish and steal the body parts from others. That's what you should not do. Wow, look at this one. It's beautiful too here. Look what Jamie did. Jamie, vegan, London, England. Beautiful. All right, so you know what? I'm going to put here. I'm going to let this person be a moderator and see if Jamie can be a good moderator. Sometimes people are fake and they are here just to cause trouble, but at least they're here listening to the message. Um, and sometimes they have to be let go and they can come back later when they're more mature and ready to receive the vegan message. I had a headache a few days ago. Now I'm about to have another one. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that you have a headache. So maybe what the problem is, is that you're eating too many animal products. Try eating vegan foods, drinking lots of water, getting some rest, and of course some fresh air and exercise, and maybe you'll feel better. Um, Coco Melon isn't a vegan channel. That's right, Diego, but it should be because they are making videos for children. And when you're making videos for children, you must teach them the proper values. So if you're talking about making, let's say, pizza, you should absolutely talk about having, <coughs> excuse me, no pepperoni on there, which was great. They didn't actually have any meat on there, which is good. But they unfortunately talked about cheese and they mentioned it three times. So they got 10 X's for each time on my evaluation sheet. All right. So our big, our, our video is actually the premiere is going to start in 22 minutes. We have 93 people waiting. <coughs> Excuse me. I should have had some water before starting. And it is going to, today is November 20th. Please remember to watch these important documentaries. Watch Dominion.com and don't watch.org. So just to let you know what it looks like here, when you go to watchdominion.com, that's exactly what you put into the search engine. See that? 
watchdominion.com or dominionmovement.com and you get to see this. And when you press on this, you will see what happens to so many animals in the industry. It is absolutely heartbreaking what we do to these animals. Look at this baby cow. A baby cow, a boy cow, is going to have his sl throat slit because he'll never be able to give milk. Does that seem right to you? To me, this little poor innocent baby just looks like my Bella. I mean, dogs are no different than baby cows. Look, he's been taken away from his mom. He's afraid. He's in a dark place. He should be right beside his mom, not awaiting death to be cut up and to be turned into a leather jacket, leather shoes. And then, I mean, it just makes me so sad that his body will be taken and he will be turned into a veal. When you see veal in the store, when you're shopping, go and look at the meat section. If you see veal, it's a baby cow. I just can't. I can't even imagine wanting to hurt this poor sweetie. I just want to give him a big hug and just say, hey, come with me. But unfortunately, the world is full, full, full of cruel people. But you guys don't have to be cruel. You guys can choose to be kind to animals. So let's go back to our comment section here. All right, what do we have? Let's let, let's see. Press this button here to let the comments keep going. Uh, Jamie says, the future is vegan. Thanks, Jamie, for saying that. And somebody says, oh my God, I really want a pet cow. Make sure he has all the nutrients and is vegan. Well, you know, I'm glad that you want to have a pet cow, but the reality is that animals should not be pets. Oh, if you hear that. Uh, footsteps there. That's my Bella walking here. My Bella is my vegan dog. She's been vegan since August 2017. I've been vegan since uh, June of 2016. How to get these right in my head, I always forget. Um, so thank you everybody for being here and for being as vegan as possible. Get the popcorn ready, guys. Yep. Okay, you're a cray cray woman, says somebody. So why would you think that somebody's crazy just for defending animals? You don't even believe that yourself or you wouldn't be here. If somebody's really crazy, why would you want to watch their channel? You can just go and watch somebody else's channel. I'm actually sane, very sane, because I believe in, in being kind to animals and protecting the future of the planet. Do you know that veganism is best for the planet because it is best for greenhouse gases to avoid them? Um, the, the animal agriculture business causes a great the uh, footprint of, of um, excuse me, just my, my dog is looking funny right now. I could show you, but I, I just don't want to move the camera right now. <laughs> She's distracting me. The eco footprint of animal agriculture is terrible. If you care about the future of the planet, then you will be vegan. Yeah, the future is vegan. When do you guys think the future will be vegan? Maybe in like the year 3000? Nah, it will never be fully vegan. Well, let's remember what the definition of veganism means. It means to be as kind as possible to animals and not hurt them. So you don't think it's possible for the human race to make a decision that in the same way that they've decided it is wrong to kill humans, it could be also decided that it is wrong to hurt animals needlessly. I mean, in self-defense is one thing, but we're not talking about that. Okay, I'm going to show this. Look at these. I'm going to press this show button. Boop. Look at that. Somebody's putting all these beautiful delicious foods. When was last time you had blueberries or all of these wonderful greens and corn and all of these delicious foods? Okay, insects are not inferior. Pigs are not inferior. Cows are not inferior. Fish are not inferior. Chickens are not inferior. Geese are not inferior. You're right, Ava, because these animals all have something different to offer. They're all unique. Just because they're not the same as us doesn't mean that we should treat them any differently and with less respect we should be kind to them they're not hurting us let the animals live let everybody live animals are here with us on the planet not for us luca says go vegan eva says do not eat fish fishing kills thousands of whales turtles dolphins and sharks every day as bycatch she's absolutely right Yes. Where did the comment go? Oh, it went flying. Hold on. Um, fishermen throw them back into the water to bleed to death. Yeah, it is horrific. If you don't know what's going on, you can go and watch the documentary called Sea Spiracy. That will tell you exactly what's happening. Sea Spiracy. Go and watch that. So what else do we have? Um, the, 
the face of gaming are you still breastfeeding from another species okay this is noah talking to somebody else and what noah is referring to is that cow's milk is taking the breast milk of a cow now think about it if you saw a cow would it be your instinct to go underneath that cow lie down and try to drink from her most people would say uh no it would never occur to me to do that so why then do you go to the store and pay for people to take this milk away from a mother cow and drink it. You are not a baby for one thing. If you really think you need milk, why don't you walk up to your mom right now and just lift off her shirt and take what you think is owed to you because your mother's milk belongs to you if she's willing to give it freely. So if you think that you need milk, then maybe it's time for you to think again and grow up because anyone who is not a baby does not need milk and you certainly don't need milk from another species and you should not be taking it unless the mother agrees. And these cows do not consent to us stealing their milk. Insects are not inferior, pigs are not inferior. Yeah, all of these, very true. Okay, go vegan. All right, we already read this, that's great. Um, what else do we have? Goldfish are actually very smart. Yep, check my wrap. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. What is it you want me to do is start Googling? <laughs> Tufy goof is rap. I mean, please, if you want me to check something, maybe write a proper sentence and give me a link. All right, here we have a vegan Joshua, and we're gonna show this because again, it's beautiful. All these wonderful foods. Make sure you eat a variety of foods. Try to eat 30 different vegan foods a day if you can. What else do we have here? May I be a teaching assistant, please? Rui vegan singapore is 25. so if you want to be a teaching assistant it's a good idea to teach vegan facts i haven't seen you teach anything so i'm going to say right here teach vegan facts okay and i'm going to put a heart there good i'll keep an eye on you on you though and see if you're teaching some facts then i'll make you into a moderator why not i would love to have you as a moderator teaching assistants is, is great mods can i get your attention please it says hello i am joe mama <laughs> why don't you just say what you want to say instead of trying to get everyone's attention because everybody's here busy talking away and doing their own thing we now have 103 people who are waiting and chatting and reading the comment section and this is going to begin in 14 minutes and miss katie is not too happy with coco melon because they forgot to say vegan cheese oh what are we going to do with coco melon what are we going to do with the whole a whole world? We need to get the world vegan and stop hurting animals. All right, and let's see what Amber says. There is no excuse for animal abuse. Not your religion, not your social status, not your age, your gender, your taste buds. Everyone must strive to not hurt animals. That's what being vegan means. Thank you so much for saying that. That's an excellent comment. And I noticed that many of you are copying and pasting my comments which is great. I want you all to continue to educate. And this is great, reminding people about these important uh, references here. We've got nutritionfacts.org. Let me pull this down. We have Be Fair, Be Vegan. We have HowDoIGoVegan.com. These are great, Georgia. I'm really happy to see that. And I'm going to tag Georgia. And whoops, Georgia. And I'm going to say, uh, good work. Good work. Exclamation point. And I'm going to put a heart there. Excellent. And Amber, be right back. I'm putting, Amber says, be right back. I'm putting on some music. That's sort of cute. Gives us a little bit of a, an idea of what Amber is like. Yeah, I would like to have some music on too. I didn't think of that actually. Okay. Somebody says vegan is God. Vegan is life. I think you're trying to say vegan. I don't know. Are weird glasses, are wired glasses vegan though? I don't know. I'm not sure what you're referring to. I don't think wire has any vegan products in it. Mods, can I get your attention? Okay, killing other species of food is literally life and our body needs the protein. Well, Andre, you're just, you're not educated yet. We can get protein from plants, just like cows eat, get their protein from plants. And so do elephants, and so do bison, and so do giraffes. There's a lot of huge animals who get their protein from plants. So there's no need for us to kill any animals. Killing other species for food is literally life. Okay, no, that's, we read that, no, no. Okay, let's move on. How do I go vegan? Sing it again. <laughs> go to howdoigovegan.com. Sing it again. Howdoigovegan.com. Sing it again. Howdoigovegan.com. Sing it again. Howdoigovegan.com. 
Amber knows the words to my song. Very to go, Amber. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tag Amber, and I'm gonna say, nice song, nice song. All right, now we have here, um, you forgot the biggest troll, which is the vegan teacher. Well, I don't know what you mean by troll. I am out here on social media trying to raise awareness about the poor innocent animals who are suffering. It makes me really sad because we don't need to hurt them. And if you were the victim, you would love me. I would be your best friend. You would give me a big hug and say, thank you so much for sticking up for me. Thank you for telling everybody not to hurt me. That's what you would do. So try to tap into your empathy. Guess what Thanksgiving is coming? Yeah, and you know what Thanksgiving is about? Being thankful. It's not about a turkey. It's not about the food. It's about thinking about what you are grateful for and naming those things. For example, running water. Don't take it for granted. Some people don't have running water. If you have a house with windows, be grateful for that. Be grateful you have a roof over your head. Do you have a pillow? Well, say thank you to your pillow for being there. Say thank you to your blanket and your shoes and your mom and your kitchen. Say thank you for all of the amazing things that you have if you have a bicycle or if you have even just a computer to ride on. You are so, so privileged. That's what Thanksgiving is about. And you should never put a dead animal on the, tur on the table. That's terrible. Thanksgiving is not about murdering an animal. Okay, be vegan now, says vegan Noah. Good job, Miss Katie. I will be vegan if you play Angry Birds. Well, that's ridiculous. You uh, clearly don't know anything about what being vegan is about. Being vegan is not about whether I pay attention to you or not. Being vegan is about the animals. If you, if you want to be vegan, you will be vegan on your own, even if I never talk to you in my life or never pay attention to you, or even if you absolutely hate me. It has nothing to do with the animals. You should be a good person whether you like me or not. Trolling will not be tolerated. It's the cat's choice. What? The cat's choice. I don't know what you're talking about. The future is vegan, so why not start right now? Go and watch don'twatch.org to educate yourself about how badly these animals are treated. That's right, Luca. And don'twatch.org is actually only six minutes long, and there's still 10 minutes before the premiere begins. So why not? That's a great idea. Why don't you go there? And by the way, in case you don't know yet, this is my Instagram. And my Instagram is that vegan teacher Miss Katie. So if you haven't signed up yet, this is it. It's all one word there. You can see that vegan teacher Miss Katie. All one word, no underscores or anything. And there's a lot of stuff here. I don't really pay that much attention, honestly, to my Instagram, but there's a lot of things here that have been put up over the years. And this is something that's not that long ago. It says here, if you say you love animals, but you eat, wear, or use animals as commodities. That's like saying that you love your partner, but you also think it's okay to beat or otherwise abuse your partner. If animals matter morally, veganism is the only rational choice. Be sane, be vegan, subscribe, and help me save them. So you guys can have a look. One day I'm going to go over this account a little bit more detailed. But you can see that I, I post all kinds of little things. This is a song that uh, was on TikTok. And there are all kinds of different things. There's songs. I'm talking about different animals. Something that I'm talking about other accounts. If you see something filmed sideways like that, it's because I usually put that video also on YouTube because it's done in a three-minute uh, fashion over there on TikTok. And this is a song I have called, uh, it's about uh, pigs running away. I filmed the, the grass with the leaves and it's talking about running away from humans. So you can see there's a lot of things here. I'm talking about vegan candy around Halloween time. I'm talking about uh, different other people like this person here whose name is Daz Games. It's a terrible human who, who never grew up and still pays people to hurt animals. And here you can see that I'm dancing in some of these videos. And um, yeah, I'm just basically talking about how how uh, about religion here. And here I'm talking about the innocent cows. This is where they're kept in these tight, confined quarters. One baby boy cow. Look at them by the thousands and thousands going back there, totally being tortured, torn away from their mothers, just awaiting to be murdered. It is heartbreaking beyond belief. Please go ahead and subscribe to That Vegan Teacher, Miss Katie, over on Insta Instagram if you like. Let me go back here to the Coco Melon video. So the video is going to actually begin in about seven minutes. So I think I'm going to just answer a few more of your questions or your comments here. 
and then you guys can go ahead and watch that. All right, let's have a look what we've got here. Go vegan, says Ryan. Yes, that's great. Thank you, Ryan. Those look yummy. Yes, they do. Um, everyone should be vegan. Yes. If TVT, that's that vegan teacher, wants a fully vegan world, why say vegan cheese when dairy cheese is a thing of the past? So in a vegan world, everyone would say cheese or something else instead of vegan cheese. And you know what? I thought about that. You're absolutely right. But we're not at that stage yet. So Raz, I'm going to write that. We are not yet at that stage. But in general, I agree with you. Are you vegan yet? Wear your uniform. There you go. Let's see if this person will put on their uniform, which means just changing their name to look like this. Jamie, vegan, London, England, 14. So name, vegan, city, country, age. What else do we have here? Let's see if we're missing it. Being vegan is our choice. And instead of helping the world become vegan, you are starting arguments. Well, I am here talking about how you shouldn't hurt animals. If you were an animal, you wouldn't say to me, oh, please don't start arguments. You would be saying, yes, Miss Katie, please keep telling everybody not to hurt animals. And you wouldn't think, oh, it's a choice. If aliens came to the earth and wanted to eat you, would you say, yeah, yeah, it's your choice. You can choose to eat me or not. It's up to you. Of course not. You would be begging for your life and saying, please go and eat some to tofu. <laughs> aliens, please go and eat some lentils. Aliens, can you please go and eat some chickpeas or vegan cheese or some uh, vegan lasagna, vegan pizza or anything? Please don't eat me. That's what you would be saying, Lizzie. So think a little bit differently. Try to imagine that you are the victim. Today is the day I declare that I am vegan. That's great. Thank you so much. So let's write to you. Happy Vegan Declaration Day. Vegan? Oh, wait. Which, which one of these was it? Oh, no. I lost it. Hold on. Let's go back. Oops. Where did she go? Okay. Vegan underscore... Um, no. It's this one. Vegan underscore JJ. Okay. Vegan? Is that an underscore? underscore JJ. Yeah, there we go. Happy vegan declaration day. Happy vegan declaration day to you. Happy vegan declaration day to you. Whether you've been vegan for a lifetime or just a minute, welcome to the club. We're so glad you're in it. Happy vegan declaration day to you. Happy vegan declaration day to you. Everywhere around the world, animals are lining up to thank you for your compassion and allowing your heart to open up. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you! Woohoo! So proud of you. Don't forget to write it on the, the date on the fridge. Eat what you want to eat. Um, yeah, but don't eat who. Don't eat who you want to eat. Eat things, but not beings. So I want to thank everybody for being here. The premiere is going to start in about four minutes. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe and press the notification bell. Do you see it? Do you see the subscribe button? Look down. And do you see the notification bell? Right beside the subscribe button is the notification bell. And that way you can come and comment here and tell me about how you're doing, what vegan foods you ate, what are your challenges? And you can also put spam all these beautiful, wonderful things when a video is going up. And you, if you are vegan, you can help me teach veganism. Just wear your uniform like this, write your name and the word vegan, your city, your country, and your age. And join us and help us save the animals because a lot of people will be reading your comments and they will be able to follow in your footsteps. Coming up are going to be a whole bunch of other videos. Have a look at those. Click on them. Be curious. Follow that vegan teacher and let me know what you think about all the videos that you're watching. By the way, this is behind the scenes of the of uh, what I have on my desktop here. I have all these different things about, about veganism that I copy and paste. For example here, are you brave enough to be vegan? You must be willing to look deep in your heart and stand up for the most oppressed in our society. You must be willing to see your own family's hypocrisy. 
Yeah, that's true. And now I see I have just so many comments here. And if you would like to have these comments, basically you just come and because I'm always copying them onto the lives there. And you can just copy them and paste them and you'll have your own bank of different comments. You can go all the way down here where I talk about vegan phobia. See, they're kind of in order there. M-N-O-P-O-C-P. -O -O see, there's a bunch of them. Like for example here, most parents have been brainwashed by the meat, dairy, and egg industries. They do not no right from wrong. Vegan kids are not are, are not lied to. They know the truth and they have compassion in their hearts. So there's other things here about vegan pets and about plants here. Uh, and I'm inviting you to join Challenge 22 to learn how to become vegan. It's free. Maybe I'm going to take this one actually and copy that and remind people up here that that is something that they can do. Put that over here. There we go. And I'm going to also put it Another comment here, plants react to stimuli like the sun and the rain, but they do not feel pain. Nature would have made them able to run or fly or swim away if they did. Eat plants, not pigs. All right, so the comments are going really quickly now because the video is about to begin in 60 seconds and then we have 171 people waiting. So if you want to see this video, you can go and click on it next. Have a look. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys for trying so hard. Don't forget to give yourself a big squeeze and be as vegan as possible. Bye for now.